Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mr. Petito from Wham's Tech, and we're gonna continue with our top 15 iPadOS 15 features. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the updated sidebar in Safari. So here I'm visiting Safari, and you see in the top left corner, we have a new icon for our sidebar. Opening that up, we see that we can access our bookmarks, our reading list, and our history as normal. But now we have a new icon here to add additional tab groupings. So we now have the ability to save our tabs in a group for later access. Let's say we're doing some research on frogs and I've already have a collection of websites. I now have the ability to add these websites to a tab group. A couple of ways to do that. Either one, we can open up our sidebar here, tap on the tab grouping icon and then choose new tab group from that X amount of tabs. The other way is to tap on your tab switcher in the top right corner. And then you'll see at the top how many tabs you have open. Selecting that will again let you see that you can add a new tab group from those tabs. So let's go ahead and add a new tab group. We can name it. save it, and then hit done. And now we'll see in our sidebar we have that tab grouping. If we want to exit the tab group, we can simply go back to the start page. If at any point in time I need to re-access those tabs, I can open up my sidebar and select the tab group. Now one thing to note is that if I were to close out of one of these tabs within the tab group, and then go back to my start tab, when I re-access the tab group, that tab will still be gone. So make sure you're only closing out of tabs from your tab group if you truly want it to be removed altogether. Now let's say I'm in a new session and I find another website that I want to add to my tab grouping here couple of ways I can do that. The first way is to long press on the tab switcher and then choose move to tab group. And then you can select the tab group to which to add it. Another way is to take the URL, long press, and then drag it on top of the tab group that you want to add. To start a new tab group, you can open up your shelf, select the tab group icon, and then choose new empty tab group. Give it a name. And now you can toggle between one tab group and another. We hope you enjoy this new tab grouping feature in Safari. Stay tuned for my next video, and as always, thanks for watching.